Good morning to all. It's a, a great pleasure for me to welcome you here today in Mexico for this seventh meeting of the Broadband Commission for Digital Development. Uh, I am uh, very glad this, uh, that uh, we have uh, here your excellencies, uh, and the industry leaders, uh, many colleagues, and uh, we have the presence of our Secretary of Foreign Affairs. We give also him the welcome to be with us. Thank you for being here. And we are also waiting the, the, the arrival of uh, another uh, officials of the government that are working mainly in this area of technology and, and telecommunication, broadband, and uh, information and communications technology. We are very happy to honor and host you during this weekend and to co-share this commission once again with my admire and respect very respectful friend, His Excellency, President Paul Kagami. Thank you for coming, President. <laughs> well, it's especially welcome because it's his first visit to Mexico. We wait that you come more often to, to visit us and be with us and share so many experience and knowledge that you have and uh, how you are moving, not only your country, but uh, many paradigms, new paradigms for Africa themselves. Thank you for, for coming, President. I am also very glad to, to have by my side the two co-vice chairs of the Commission, Dr. Hamadun Touré, Secretary General of ITU, and Irina Bok and Irina Bokova, Director General of UNESCO. Who have provided us with a great support to increase the effectiveness of our activities. This, this new meeting is the third anniversary of our commission. We have walked a long way together since 2010 when uh, we were giving this important responsibility of co-chairing the commission together with President Kagami. And it has been a great pleasure to perform this task together and to exchange with all of you so many interesting experiences throughout the past six meetings. In these three years, we have made great achievements to put broadband network services and applications high in the global agenda. Our broadband targets have already become a reference to assess the progress that the ICT family is making towards achieving broadband inclusion for all, which is the goal of this group. It is uh, also very important that uh, independent of the current economic context around the world, in which the countries and populations that are struggling more are those of the so-called first world. All of these that have a very high income per capita and has uh, led the development of, uh, of the world for so many years, mainly in Europe and including U US and Japan, with so many years with this uh, situation. Uh, and it uh, doesn't matter that uh, all of this is happening, or maybe because it is happening, we need to make these new recommendations and produce these new recommendations on how broadband can bring those countries back to the pathway to sustain social and economic development and create new jobs, in particular for young professionals. It's very important that uh, uh, this, that this is the main and most important tool of this new civilization, this new civilization of technology, information, knowledge that uh, changed completely the face of the world, uh, be adopted for everyone, and uh, that uh, will uh, help to also find all these new activities that will generate the, the, the employment that uh, 
these countries are lacking, especially for young people. It's very important that uh, all this area of information technology that is generating a lot of jobs be developed together with the applications and advances and content that they bring that are very important for the uh, development of all the countries. This new society increased the productivity because of the technology, and this increase in productivity means that people need to work less because uh, the, the increase in productivity is so big and is so fast that it's very important to find the jobs for these people that are displaced for this uh, increase in efficiency and productivity. We see these countries that are not getting down her, their, their wealth. They are still with, with very high income per capita. We are talking about countries with 30, 35, 40,000 dollars per capita that uh, still uh, they, they, don't, they are in this level and it doesn't matter that they have a big uh, economic crisis. The, the income doesn't fall down, still man maintains high, but they don't conduce the changes for make uh, that uh, this increase in wealth and productivity that creates technology uh, be conduced for creating new jobs for the young, the young people. Here in Mexico, we are uh, proposing a solution for working and connect to all. That is one of our uh, that is our main target, and uh, that consists that uh, in these two parts of the of the technology of the broadband uh, importance in the new society, one is the access to all, and the other part is the development of content, content and applications to be used in health, to be used in education, to be uh, used for entertainment, but also for business, economy, and government uh, management. All this content is just beginning and the potential is so big and we need to, to push that for our uh, national and regional needs and some of them should be global. By the other side, the technology that uh, is on place making every day, every time, very often available, the prices, the services and the speed, every time the speed is faster, the price is lower and that is helping to, to look at our target of access to all. And uh, with this uh, access to all that uh, we are looking for, it's very important uh, not only the fixed lines that are decreasing, that they are with a low penetration, maybe around 30% now, but what is happening now with the 4G and the smartphones that can give a, a, a universal or near universal access for all with these uh, new mobile uh, uh, devices that uh, we were talking yesterday, that uh, Huawei is thinking already in $55 per year. End of this year. End of this year, okay. <laughs> uh, and, and for the next year, 50. And uh, they are thinking in China to go to 70% of uh, penetration in smartphones. That is fantastic in the next three years, you told me? Next three years. That's fantastic uh, achievement. And that's so only a, a way to see how the access, universal access will be there. But beyond this universal access, by di direct uh, connection, by direct uh, connect connectivity, we are proposing and working for in the last five years to make digital libraries and uh, to give uh, access to everyone in, in, any, in every place, every time, by these public libraries and the copybook, we call it digital copybook, the USB, to make it accessible. You have one uh, uh, maybe in front of you, access to, to everyone to be connected. And uh, well, I think uh, one of the other things that we need to push in our commission beyond the, the, the connecting to all, connection to all, universal service, should be work for development of, of applications for the applications we need, in, in mainly for uh, health and education, but also for, for other, commerce is very important and finance is very important, Obvi obviously the government is very important, 
but uh, in my opinion, education and education is very important. And develop some applications that also push the creation of new, of new jobs. Well, in some way, these are the topics that we have been discussing for three years, some of them, and we are going to discuss today uh, in, in this meeting. And uh, well, I give you again my most warm welcome to all of you to, to Mexico. Thank you very much.